Hey guys, it's me Astrid, and uh, I know I haven't been making videos for a little while, sorry, I, life makes you busy sometimes. But anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a little quick semi-hydroponic update because I have a cool development to show you, super brief, and then show you the sarcochylus orchids that I repotted into semi-hydroponic so I can just, you know, love on Sunset Valley orchids a little bit more than I already do. So first off, here's the uh, Sideria or Phalaenopsis japonica. I put it in semi-hydroponic a month or two ago, um, and it is doing great. It has a new leaf coming up. It has this new root here, and um, gosh, it's hard to see, but it maybe you can see in the pot right there, and you can see that the roots are actually sucking water up from the bottom of this and staying moist, but not soggy all the time. So this orchid seems to really like that. Additionally, I moved this into an area that I like to be like call sub Cattleya light. So it's not the brightest of the bright light, but it is brighter light than you would give to a Phalaenopsis, and it seems to be doing really well. And in addition to this root here, I wanted to just show you this root on the bottom. It sits in the muck on the bottom in the water that grew all the way down through the pot and came out here. And that is the most root growth I have seen on the Sideria japonica in the entire year that I've had it. Now, of course, that could be seasonal, but it doesn't make sense that it would be seasonal because it's been winter and dim. I really think that it's an environmental and a potting media change that this orchid really likes. So yes, took it off the mount, got it out of the moss that it was in on the mount, which killed its roots, and put it into um, hydroton pellets. It's doing really well, and I would recommend this for Sideria japonica. You know, give it a shot if you have one that's uh, kind of dilly-dallying around. Now I wanted to show you the Sarcochylus orchids that I got from Sunset Valley Orchids. Now Fred Clark, I picked these up from him at a meeting uh, in my city, and he said, hey, don't, don't repot these, don't touch them, just leave them in the kiwi bark. And they were in fine kiwi bark, and every time I watered them, the fucking bark got everywhere. I hate bark, I, I hate it, like get bark out of my life. It's like, I hate it. Anyway, I switched to the semi-hydroponic medium and it gave me an opportunity to see the roots on these plants and they are really just something else. So I'm just gonna hold this up so you can see the tag on which cross this is. Pause if you want. And then you can see some roots here. So this didn't establish these roots in this pot, but these are the roots that um, it already had. Same for all the ones I'm about to show you. Here's, um, the next one, here's the tag for you. And it's doing really well. They, they are not pouting or suffering at all since I transferred them to semi-hydroponic. And again, you can see the roots around the side of the pot. Now, there are two more that I got. I went a little mad when I discovered this genus and that I could get hybrids of it. And I just wanted to show you how amazingly healthy they are. I've had these in my care for about three months. This is not my doing. This is Fred Clark's nurseries doing at Sunset Valley Orchids. Look at this bush of a plant. Here's the uh, tag. And look at the roots as well. There's so many healthy growths on this and so many roots. I am really excited to see uh, if this is gonna bloom this spring, what the bloom display is gonna be like, because that's really exciting. And finally, the last Sarcochylus I wanted to show you is this one, because it had the most amazing root system of all of them. I dropped my jaw when I pulled this out of the pot. It It's just phenomenal. And this one got a little bit wrinkly, but that's because I didn't water them. Now that they're in semi-hydroponic, and here's the tag, so maybe if you want, you can get the same cross as me. We can compare blooms. What was I just saying? I don't know. I really like putting these in semi-hydroponic because these need to stay a little bit moist. You know, um, I think they like to be hydrated. They are, they don't have pseudobulbs to store extra energy, so they don't want to dry out completely all the time and be dry for long periods of time or so that's what I seem to understand about them. 
and um, they seem to be doing well in this. I switched them about a week ago and I am very pleased with my choice as I always am when I put things into semi-hydroponic. Just look at these little tiny growths down here in the bottom. You see all these little guys poking out? Yeah, so nice. But anyway, yeah, Sarcochylus orchids and Sideria japonica, really, really cool. Um, nice looking. These guys, these sarcochylus, are nice looking out of bloom. They look like nice little house plants. And when they do bloom, they bloom like little, small, beautiful, daisy-like flowers. And if you haven't checked this genus out, you totally should. They're really cool. And you can get them in the U.S. from Fred Clark. If you're in Australia and I think even New Zealand, you can get them really easily. Other parts of the world, good luck. But, uh, yeah. That's my update. Uh, I'm gonna be really intermittently posting this term, so until like March. Good luck if you ever see me. Meh. Meh. Anyway, yeah, um, by the way, guys, be sure to check out Orcaholics Anonymous on Facebook. That is Brittany Lowry's group she started. I administrate there, and uh, her channel is Holy City Orchids. I'm on there all the time. It's great. It's a wonderful community, super fun, helpful. It's fabulous. So check out Orcaholics Anonymous, and thanks for watching. Bye.